Hey everyone, welcome to another video lesson from NavigationTrading.com. In this video, I want to talk to you about how to get approved for options trading permission. I get a lot of questions from our members who have either A, been denied certain levels of options trading permission, or B, they're opening up a new account and they want to make sure how to get a specific level of permission to make the kind of trades that they want to make. So to start with, brokers have an obligation to create a suitability foundation, and there's a requirement to what they call, in quotes, know your customer. And so from that perspective, they are regulated to have to set some parameters on how they approve accounts and how they approve options trading permissions. However, the SEC and FINRA does not say that there are specific criteria that need to be met for the broker to grant these options trading permissions. So it's completely on a broker by broker and a person by person situation of how they determine which option privileges to grant you as a customer. And some brokers are a little bit more strict on what they grant as far as permissions go, and some are a little bit more lenient. So let's jump in and I'll give you an idea of what the brokers are looking for to get you the highest options trading permission that you want to place the trades that you want in your account. So to start, there are really four different levels of equity options trading permissions. Now, again, these kind of vary from broker to broker. Some, some brokers call them tiers, some call them levels. But this, in general, is the basis of what they're looking at. And so if we start with level one, that's simply covered calls and cash secured puts. Level two is the ability for you to buy calls and puts. So you can do long calls and puts. Now, to me, this is just ridiculous. Uh, from a standpoint of buying calls and puts have a very low probability of making you money. So the fact that they are basically trying to protect you from yourself is a little bit backwards in the way that they allow for traders, especially newer traders, to have permission to just buy long calls and puts. Because if you go into that not understanding how they work, but yet you're allowed to do it, well, that, that's kind of backwards from what they're trying to do, which is to protect you from you. But the reality is all the broker's trying to do is protect themselves. Level three is where you get into having the ability to trade iron condors, butterfly spreads, vertical spreads, basically any defined risk type of option spread. And then level four is where you're now able to trade short strangles, short straddles, uh, sell puts, sell calls, any uncovered or naked option. Now, I also included futures and futures options because this is another level of permission that you need to be granted from your broker if you want to trade futures or options on those futures. Now, at Navigation Trading, we trade all of these different strategies. So in our opinion, it is a benefit to you to try to get proved at the highest possible level. That doesn't mean you have to use it. That doesn't mean you have to trade naked options. That doesn't mean you have to trade futures. But being able to get approved at the highest level is going to be beneficial as you scale up your account size, as you scale up your knowledge, and you want to start trading these different strategies. So we would suggest always applying for the highest level of permission that's available with your broker. Now, the two preferred brokers that we use at Navigation Trading are TD Ameritrade, the Thinkorswim trading platform, and Tastyworks. So let's jump onto their websites and I'll give you a couple ideas of what they're looking for and some things that can help you get that permission level that you're looking for. Okay, so the first broker that we'll look at is TD Ameritrade. Now, what I did here is I just logged into my TD Ameritrade account. If you go to my profile and then investor profile, that's where we're at here. And so to trade options and to trade the strategies that we teach at Navigation Trading, you really want to have an investment goal of aggressive growth. And so that's what's selected here. Secondary investment objective, also aggressive growth. Now, keep in mind, I'm not trying to tell you how to fill out the forms, and I'm certainly not telling you to be dishonest on the forms, 
But keep in mind, if you select that you are a conservative investor and you don't want to take any risk, well, then A, options are probably not for you. And B, you're probably not going to get approved for advanced tier three or higher level permissions for trading options, especially naked options. Under risk tolerance, we are speculative. That means we are trying to make a profit on the trades that we make. As far as liquidity needs, more than a year, you know, they want to see that you have a little bit longer time horizon before you're going to start taking the money out or before you actually need the money. And then the time horizon, I have 13 or more because I'm not looking to specifically take income out of these trades right away. As a rule of thumb in the financial industry, whether this is correct or not, the longer you have, the longer time horizon you have, theoretically, the more risk you can take because you have more time before you're going to start taking income. Next, what are your investment objectives for trading options? Again, speculation. We're trying to make gains and, and really grow wealth and grow your account. And then one of the biggest things that brokers look for is experience. So we have you know bonds, options, stocks, uh, good experience in all those. So we want to show that we have experience and that we know what we're doing. Now, maybe you don't have as much experience, but you've gone through our trading courses. You've gone through uh, other courses or education that helps you understand the strategies and gives you an idea of how to trade those. So that matters as far as experience. And if you click on the little question mark right here, it's going to bring up, for example, TD calls them instead of levels, they call them tiers. So just like I put in the initial slide, covered calls is tier one. Uh, tier two standard cash is the ability to write covered calls. Tier two standard margin, that's the credit spreads, defined risk. And then tier three is advanced with naked and uncovered options. So those are the key components that you need to understand for getting approved for options trading. The other piece that they look at is your financial situation. What's your income? What's your net worth? What are your liquid assets? The more assets that you have, the better chance you have of getting approved. So when you open a new account, you're going to be asked to fill out these questions, or you can also go back and update them by logging into your account, clicking on my profile, investor profile, and updating those as you see fit. Okay, so that's TD Ameritrade. Now let's take a look at Tastyworks. So if you log in at tastyworks.com and just go to my profile and then investor profile, that's the page we're looking at here. And again, a lot of this information is the same. We're looking at speculation as our trading objective. For trading knowledge, we show stocks as extensive, covered options extensive, uncovered options extensive, and futures extensive. And then your financial standing, you'll be asked to you know, talk about your annual income, your net worth, your liquid net worth. Now, keep in mind, again, I'm not telling you to be dishonest, but you also need to realize that they have really no way of verifying this information. And so the more annual income, net worth, liquid net worth that you can show or answer, the better chance you have of getting approved. And keep in mind, I've never heard of any of our members not getting approved for the works in Tastyworks, which is the ability to do everything. TD Ameritrade and some of the other brokers are a little bit more strict as far as allowing permission to trade some of these uncovered options and futures and that sort of thing. Now, it's been a long time since I've traded with any other broker besides TD Ameritrade or Tastyworks, so each broker is a little bit different in their approval process, but all the information from financials to your experience to your trading goals are all pretty much the same from broker to broker. So just understand where they are coming from, and the more you have, the more assets, the more liquid assets, the more income, the more experience, and the higher risk of trading objective that you have gives you a higher chance of getting approved. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. And of course, if you want to check out all the other stuff we're doing at Navigation Trading, just go to navigationtrading.com. See you there.